afternoon. This is James Hopp from the Shopsmith Repair Woodworking Academy. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, we're going to talk today about electric motors and how to keep them from burning out. I had two customers. Well, one, first of all, he purchased a new machine and he brought it in to have it checked out. Well, he turned it on. As often happens, it just hummed and he turned it off and brought it in. When I finished repairing his machine, there was a lot of parts wrong, a lot of things we had to take care of. You know, frozen parts. When we got to the bearings, they were frozen as well. And they had stalled. You couldn't even turn the sheaves on the front of the motor. He had turned it on and let it hum, and it was enough to smoke the motor, burn it out. If you'd like to see common motor issues, I did my video six covering that topic and you can get to it right up here. If you haven't looked at my video number six, then you can see here what happened to his motor and see how it's burned. And once it's burned like that, I might be able to get it to run, but I'm not gonna take that chance. You know, we offer two-year warning, and I cannot warning something that's burned like that. So, I offered this gentleman. I have this golden tan machine that I got from a gentleman who had put a Power Pro on. And it's been upgraded. It has all the newer features, you know, like two-bearing quill and poly-V system. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll get that one working for you. And all you have to do is pay for the repair on that machine and I'll keep your other parts for spares and so that's gonna make him a pretty good deal you're not gonna have to pay seven to nine hundred dollars for a repair I thought that was too much you know mm -hmm. you may ask well how can they get up to nine hundred dollars well I'll tell you it's very easy a repair on a, an older machine like that it has a lot of issues it can be three hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars and then if you have a motor burned out, you've got to add another 400 to 450 for a brand new motor. And that's going to run it over close to 900. My goal here at Shopsmith Repair Woodworking Academy is to save you money. So anything that's going to run $750, $900, uh, i got to look for another solution for you. When I was working on this one, it had some issues. And unfortunately, the motor uh, bearings had locked up on it too. And he kept running it with locked up bearings, but it didn't burn out the coil. Uh, and you can see here, the bearing, it just spins on the shaft. It wore down the shaft so much that even with shims, I couldn't uh, repair it. So... I took a good coil from this machine and the shaft or armature from that other machine and I was able to get one motor running A-OK -okay. and it salvages or saves the customer a ton of money. Saving about four four hundred dollars on this repair. So anyway I'm going to sell him that headstock. It's about ready to go and everything here is Top notch. I give a two year warning on all my repairs and I can stand behind them because I do quality work. Just because I use used parts for this particular machine doesn't mean that I use them on all of them. I, I use new factory parts when possible. And when I have a, a situation like this where I'm gonna do a motor, if I have the parts to make a motor from two different part two different motors, I'm gonna do it. And I guarantee it, I'll stand behind my work. I want to thank you for watching this video today. And I hope that the tips that I gave you and my expertise will, will give you um, the best possible experience you can have on your shopsmith. Thank you very much. You can find me at shopsmithrepair.com.